Hello, my yoga friends. Welcome to yoga. It is another day. I'm in a new room in my house and um, it's a little quieter here. The rest of my family is doing their thing so I can be here and be with you. Um, all right, let's begin by sitting up nice and tall. Remember that you have your own space. I have my mat, which I'm actually going to fix a little bit here. There we go. And you have your mat, you have a rug, wherever you want to be. And you're sitting up crisscross applesauce, nice and tall. And we take our two hands. One hand has something special, things we do for ourselves, things that we're really good at doing, things we like to do, um, things we're learning how to do. That's this hand. And then this hand is something we do for others that's kind. So helping others feel better, helping others by sharing toys, checking in on a friend, helping our mommies and daddies. Okay, so we have a special hand and a kind hand. And when we put those two things together, I see that you have something special and kind. You see that I have something special and kind. And what we call that is namaste. I see the special and kindness in you, and you see the special and kindness in me. So we bring our two special kind hands together. Look at that. We all have something special and kind, and then we say namaste. Good job. We greet each other, and then we start to breathe in our special yoga way. So we take a big breath in through our noses. Like we're smelling something so yummy. And then we breathe out. And in. And out. Let's try it with our hands on our bellies. We're pushing our hands away from our bellies. Big breath in. And out. And push your hands out with your belly. Big breath in. And out. Nice. Let's try one more with the yoga ball. Big breath in. Bellies get bigger, big breath out. And in. And out. Nice job, everyone. So once we've greeted each other and we have gotten our minds and our bodies ready for yoga by breathing in and out, calming ourselves down, we're in a nice, safe spot to do our yoga, we get to begin. So um, last time I posted uh, a yoga video, it was a birthday party for Dr. Seuss. And that's because it's March. So we still have another week of March. So I am going to read today the tooth book by Dr. Seuss. Because I have a feeling that some of my friends may be growing new teeth and maybe lost old teeth, baby teeth. So this is a very silly book, so I thought it would be a fun book to share today. The Tooth Book by Dr. Seuss. You guys ready to begin? All right, I am going to put on my reading glasses because sometimes I can't see the words. <gasps> now I can see. There's all those animals with the teeth. The Tooth Book by Dr. Seuss, illustrated by Joe Matthew. Or Joe Mattel. I'm not really sure. Who has teeth? Well, look around and you'll find out who you'll find that red-headed uncles do. Look at all those teeth in his head, in his mouth. There they are. He's sitting in a really big, comfy chair. So our first pose today is chair pose. So we're going to hop up and bring our feet together, our arms come out wide, and then we're gonna sit down in our chair, big breath in, and out, and in, and out. You guys, this is what I look like from the side. Big breath in, and out, and in, and out. Nice job, everybody stand up and come sit down. Let's see who else has tea. Policemen do, and zebras too. There they are. And unicycle riders do. Look 
at all those people and animals with their teeth. So we are gonna do our zebra pose. So when we do a zebra pose, we come into a downward dog. So I'm gonna do that all the way back here. I'm in my down dog. And I'm gonna bring one leg up and then I'm gonna kick and kick and kick and kick. Good job. You could do it really, really fast if you wanted to too. You could do it like this. You could do a running zebra. Is your zebra gonna go slow or is your zebra gonna go fast? You decide. Ready? Kick, big breath in. You guys do it. I'm gonna do it here. And out. And in. And out. Or in. And out. And in. And out. Good job. Whew. That one got me out of breath a little bit. Okay. And camels and their drivers do. There they are. Even little girls named Ruthie all have teeth. All Ruths are toothy. All right, we're gonna go back to this guy with the teeth, the camel. And we're gonna come into our camel pose. So to do camel pose, you're gonna come up on your knees like this. I'm gonna do it this way to show you. So we're on our knees and you can bring your hands behind your back. And we're gonna look up at the sky and go like this, big breath in and out. Or you could also do it with your toes tucked under. And then you're gonna reach back for your toes. Oh, I just had a crack. And we take a big breath in and out. And in and out. Beautiful. Which way did you do it? Did you reach for your feet or did you hold on to your sides? I felt a big stretch in my back. Teeth, you find them everywhere on mountaintops and in the air. There they are. And if you care to poke around, you'll even find them underground. There they go, underground. All right, we're gonna do the mountain tops that we see here. So everybody stand back up, bring our feet together and our hands right by our sides. I'm gonna step even further back so you can really see what I'm doing. I have my hands right by my side. I take a big breath in and a big breath out. Now, these are some big mountain tops. So my hands are gonna go all the way on top, big breath in. Big breath out. Can we make them even higher by coming on our tippy toes? Big breath in, big breath out. When we come on our tippy toes, it's kind of like we're balancing on one foot. The same rule applies because we're actually balancing on our tippy toes. So we look at something that isn't moving. It can be anything you want. I'm going to use the breathing ball, but you guys could use absolutely anything. Okay, so let's try that again. Up on our tippy toes, big breath in and out, and in and out. Nice job. And then we're gonna come all the way back down and see what other things have teeth. Let's see. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Look at those teeth. You'll find them east, west, north, and south. You'll find them in a lion's mouth. <gasps> I would not want to be that guy in that mouth. All right, friends. We've done this before, our lion's pose. So we bring our hands to our knees. Actually, this time, let's try it with our hands on the ground in front of us. And we're going to take a big breath in. And when we come in, we're going to come in. And we're going to go down like this. <sighs> Here we go. Big breath in and out. Nice job. That was, I would, that's a very brave man to be inside that lion's mouth like that. 
teeth, they are very much in style. They must be very much worthwhile. Look at all those teeth on the jack-o'-lantern. Sometimes we see those at night, right? In Halloween, around Halloween time. All right, so we're gonna do our pumpkin pose. All right, my friends. So to do pumpkin pose, you're gonna come to the back of your heels like this. And you're gonna put your hands behind your head like that. This is the stem of my pumpkin. And then very carefully so I don't bonk my head, I'm gonna bring my head all the way down and there I am, a pumpkin, big breath in and out and in and out. And back up. Good job. Now we sit back up. All the way up. Hmm. They come in handy when you chew, said Mr. Donald Driscoll Drew. That's why my family grew a few. And there's a few. There's a kid without them. All have some. They're all eating sandwiches. So let's make our sandwiches. Bring your feet out in front of you and decide what you're going to put on your sandwich. Let's pick a few different ingredients. I am going to put some peanut butter on mine, but you could put whatever you wanted on yours. So put something on the bottom piece of bread. And then we're gonna put something on the top piece of bread. I'm picking jelly. And then we're gonna take one piece of bread and we're gonna fold it over and make a sandwich. Big breath in and fold it over. And one more time. And out. Good. Now let's cut our sandwiches in half. And let's gobble up one side and gobble up the other side and gobble up the middle. And now we have to wash our faces because they got messy when we were eating those sandwiches. So pick up a napkin and I'm not really putting it on my face because that would be yucky, but I'm pretending to wipe my face. Good job, throw that napkin away. Let's pick up another napkin and wipe our faces. Wipe, wipe, wipe. And throw it away. Good job, everybody. Let's see, who else has teeth? Hmm. <gasps> wow, look at this guy. They come in handy when you smile, says Smiling Sam the Crocodile. There he is with his big teeth. All right, time to be a crocodile with our big mouth. So we're gonna lie down on the ground and we're gonna put one hand in front of us and the other one on top. And then we're gonna breathe in and open up our big jaws and we're gonna go jump. Good job. Let's switch it over to the other side. Big breath in and jump. Let's try it again one more time each side. Big breath in and jump. And one more big breath in and jump. Let's get out of here. Away from the crocodiles. Oh my goodness. Here we go. They come in handy in my job, says high trapezer Mike McCobb. There he is. If I should ever lose a tooth, I'd lose my wife, and that's the truth. He's holding her with his teeth. That's very, very talented. All right, we are going to be trapeze artists, trapeze artists, and we're going to come up into airplane pose. So I'm going to use my balancing ball again and we're going to take one step forward and we're going to look at our balancing point 
and we're gonna take off. Now, this could look like this. Maybe you're working, you're practicing unbalancing. So you can just leave one foot on the ground and whoa, look at me, I'm even having a hard time. And balance like this. Or maybe you're better at it, so you're gonna take it up a little bit more. Or maybe you can really bring it up like an airplane, big breath in and out. All right, bring it down for a landing. Let's try the other side. Other foot back. And remember, two legs perform differently. So maybe before you had your leg way up and this time you have to bring it down. Or maybe before you had it down on the ground and now you have to bring it up a little bit more. Doesn't matter, we're all learning. So we're gonna start with our foot down on the ground and then we try to bring it up a little bit and then a little bit more. And maybe we can bring it all the way up. Big breath in. And out. And in. And out. Bring your airplane down. Nice job, my friends. Excellent. Oopsie. Teeth come in handy when you speak, says news broadcaster Quincy Quack. Or Quincy Queek. Look at his big, beautiful teeth. Without my teeth, I talk like ducks and only broadcast quacks and clucks. Here's the duck going quack, 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 quack. All right, we're gonna be just like the duck. So we're gonna come to the back of our area. I'm coming to the back of my mat. And we're gonna duck down, get it, duck down. I didn't even need to do that. We're gonna come all the way down and we are gonna walk like ducks. So here are my wings, and we're gonna go quack, 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 quack. Good job, stand up, let's try it again. All the way to the back of your space. Come down into your duck pose, and then start to walk like the duck. Quack, 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 quack. Good job. If you don't have a lot of space, you could just come side to side. Quack, 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 quack. Excellent work, my friends. We're doing a lot of up and down today. You're lucky that you have your teeth, says a sad, sad snail named Simon Sneath. There he is. I don't have one. I can never smile like smiling Sam the crocodile. Oh, well, poor friend. All right, we're gonna turn our bodies into a snail. So we're gonna come back like we did before onto our heels. Then we're gonna come forward and put our hands on the ground. So I look kind of like a table right now. Now, the snail pose, we're gonna turn our bodies into the shell of the snail. So I'm gonna come down, I'm walking my hands, but this part of my body stays up. And now I have a snail shell, and this is the front of the snail. Big breath in, and out, and in, and out. Good job. And then walk yourself all the way back up. Good stretching. Clams have no teeth, says Pam the clam. I cannot eat hot dogs or ham. Nope. No teeth at all, says Pam the clam. I cannot eat roast leg of lamb or peanuts. Pizzas, popcorn, spam, not even huckleberry jam. There they are, they're all swimming underwater with Pam the Clam. All right, so to do Pam the Clam pose, we're going to have our feet together. This is the bottom shell. This is the top shell. And we're going to put the two shells together. Ready? Big breath in. And big breath out, try to touch your head to your feet. Big breath in and out. 
and in and out. Great job, my friends. All right. Who else is going to be in his adventures? Without teeth, we cannot play trombones, says a jellyfish named Jimbo Jones. The jellyfish don't have teeth either. There they are. Huh. This one's going upside down. You see how his legs are going up? That's exactly what we're gonna do for our jellyfish pose. We're gonna come lie down on our backs. I'm gonna lie this way to show you guys all the way back here again and we're gonna bring our feet up and our arms up and we're just gonna go upside down like a jellyfish upside down in the water big breath in and out and in and out good job you're floating very very slowly in the water excellent work and a big breath in, and a big breath out. Bring your hands and feet down, and a big breath in. Let's roll ourselves up, and a big breath out. Let's see who's gonna come next in our story. I have no teeth, says Hilda Hen, but women do and so do men. So I have happy news for you. You will grow two sets, set one, set two. Here she is, telling him about his teeth. So friends, before we were the waddling duck, now we're gonna come back onto our heel, our feet, and we can get our wings. And this time we're gonna go, what does the chicken say? Can you say it? I'm gonna go, well, they don't say quack, they say, um, clock, clock, mock, 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 mock. Big breath in, big breath out. <sighs> nice chickens. I bet yours sounded better than mine. You will lose set number one, and when you do, it's not much fun. But then you'll grow set number two. 32 teeth and all brand new. 16 downstairs and 16 more upstairs on the upper floor. And when you get your second set, that's all the teeth you'll ever get. There he is looking at his brand new teeth. There he is. All right, we're gonna play a quick mirror game. So you're gonna do whatever I'm doing. And if you're with somebody, you could actually play the game with them instead of with me. All right, so copy me. I'm looking in the mirror and you're my reflection. All right, so right now you should all be standing up and your feet should be together. And arms come up, hands come up. I'm gonna move without speaking. Can you do what I'm doing? You're doing this with a friend or a mommy or a daddy or a brother or a sister. You can take turns. One person is looking in the mirror. They're the leader, like me. And the other person is the mirror, like you. You can just take turns. So if you already had a turn, both people switched, 
that's awesome. If not, you can pause the video and take a turn um, doing what you didn't do before. Great job, my friends. And when you're ready, you can come right back and see what's on the next page. Look at these guys. Hmm. So don't chew down trees like beavers do. If you try, you'll lose set number two. That's good advice, chicken. Thanks so much. All right, they are chewing down a tree. So our pose for this page is our tree pose. We bring our feet together. And remember, we can have our baby tree, right? or we could have a kid tree, or we could have a teenager tree. Which tree do you wanna be today? The one place I didn't put my foot is right here on my knee. It's always above or below. So look at your balancing helper. There's my balancing ball and take a big breath in and out. Nicely done. Let's try the other leg. How is that tree going to look? Where are the branches going? Where are the roots going? Big breath in and out. Excellent work, my friends. Okay. And don't be silly like Mr. Glotz. Don't break your teeth on tying knots. And don't be silly like Katie Klops. Don't try to chew off bottle tops. There they are. Oh no. All right, those knots. So we're gonna turn our body into a knot. We're gonna stand up again and we're gonna take our arms out wide. Take one foot and bring it over. And tie up your hands, big breath in and out. I'll do it from the side so you can see. Big breath in and out. Excellent, let's try the other side. Ready, other foot out, bring it across, tie it up. Big breath in and out and in and out. Big breath in and everybody come back down. Super job, everybody. Oh no, look at this messy page. Don't gobble junk like Billy Billings. They say his teeth have 50 fillings. Oh gosh, he ate too much junk food. All right, let's make a piece of pie. So the pie, the cake, we bring our legs out wide and then we hold on to our feet. That's a piece of pie, big breath in and out and in and out. I should have saved napkin pose for that page because Billy Billings really needs a napkin. All right. They sure are handy when you smile, so keep your teeth around a while. Look at everybody smiling. They're saying cheese. So ready, we're gonna take a big breath in. And we're gonna go cheese. Let's see those teeth. Gorgeous. Looks like you guys take care of your teeth much better than Billy Billings. And never bite your dentist when he works inside your head. Your dentist is your teeth's best friend. Bite something else instead. Very good advice right? We don't want to bite people. Ready? Let's take a big breath. Ah, like we're at the dentist's office. We can even look up. Big breath in and go. Ah. Ready? 
big breath in. Ah. Nice job, my friends. All right, after we read our book or we go on our adventure, we do Shavasana. So this is the part of yoga where we make our brains really smart. We've exercised our whole body. We've stretched. We've balanced. We did those zebra kicks that got our heart rate up a little bit. And now we're going to lie down on the ground and we are going to make our bodies not move. Our brains want to move, right? I like to tell my friends that it is just like my yoga dust brush. Here's my yoga dust brush. So right now we've been moving and doing things all day and there are all the thoughts inside of our head. Really, really busy. But when we stop moving and we make the brush stop, everything settled down. Everything is calm. But if I move again, everything got stirred up. But if I just sit still, it stopped. So what I'd like all of you to do is to lie down on your comfy spot. You can turn off the lights in the room that you're in. I'm going to turn off mine. And I like to put the stars on my ceiling. I don't know if you guys can see them very well, but anyway, they're there. Um, there they are up on the top. Typing them down like that. I don't know. Maybe you can see them better if they're down here. Okay, now they're on me. And you can play some quiet music. I'm not going to play any music. And you're going to just lie all the way down on your backs like this. And you're looking at the ceiling or you're closing your eyes. And you're taking a big breath in. And a big breath out. And in. And out. You guys are lying down. I'm just going to sit up for a minute. So, what you can do is pretend that there's a little Shavasana fairy who's coming along with a yoga desk brush. And she's going to put a little bit of dust or he is going to put a little bit of dust on your forehead and then your forehead relaxes and then they put a little bit of yoga dust on your shoulders and your shoulders relax then they put some yoga dust on your arms and your arms relax and on your hands and your hands relax and on each one of your fingers. Every single one of them. And all of your fingers relax. And then the Shavasana fairy puts some yoga dust on your legs. And your legs relax. And then he or she puts them on your feet. And your feet relax. And then every single one of your toes. Whoop, there goes my my uh, stars. This is live. This is what happens. Okay. Each toe and each toe relaxes. And then the Shavasana fairy puts a little bit on your belly and your belly relaxes. And then the Shavasana fairy puts a little bit right on your chest. And your chest relaxes. So your whole body is relaxed. Head to toe. Big breath in. Big breath out. On your next big breath in, you're going to stretch your arms all the way behind you. And then you're going to breathe out and you're going to squeeze your knees. And then you're going to breathe in and you're going to go ahead and sit up. Crisscross applesauce. So many stars on me. 
good job. And you're gonna bring those two hands to your heart. And now that we're calm, we're gonna send some calm energy to someone we love. So we're gonna think about someone or something, an animal or a person, a few animals, a few people. And we're gonna take a big breath in. And we're gonna send our hugs. Let's do it again. Picture their faces. Big breath in. Send your hugs. Nice job. Now bring your special kind hands back together at your heart center. We respect each other by having kind hearts. Can you guys say kind hearts? Kind hearts. Beautiful. Now bring your hands to your mouth and we remember to use our kind words. Kind words. Nice job, everyone. And then we put our hands on our forehead and we remember to have kind thoughts. Can you guys say kind thoughts? Kind thoughts. Excellent. And then we say namaste to each other because we see that we are all special and kind. Excellent work, my friends. I hope you take care of your teeth and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye. Namaste, everybody.